This video is going to look at the aggregate demand curve and how it leads to an equilibrium level of national income. If you haven't seen the video on aggregate supply, you should watch that first. Aggregate demand is the total demand for all goods and services in the economy, and it's represented by the total spending of all sectors of the economy. We can see this in an, in an equation. The equation for aggregate demand is aggregate demand AD equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M. We'll break this down into the sectors of the economy. C is consumption, and that is the spending by households or consumers. I is investment. For investment, we're going to use the economic definition. We're not looking at things like shares and bonds, but we're looking at spending by businesses on capital goods, which are goods that they use in their production of other goods. G is the level of government spending. X is spending by people who spend on products in, in the country, but this spending comes from overseas. And then we need to take away imports, which is M. And this is because we're spending money, but we're spending them on overseas products and sending money out of our domestic economy. As national income rises, the expenditure by these sectors will also rise, and this will lead to aggregate demand having an upward slope. There are, however, two things to note. The first is that when national income is equal to zero, the economy still needs to spend money. This may require borrowing or people going into their savings. So when income equals zero, expenditure is not at zero. So therefore, our curve will not start at zero, but will start further up. The second thing to note is that not every extra dollar of income is spent. Households save some of their money. So we do not get a 45 degree line with every dollar of income leading to a dollar of expenditure. Instead, we get a flatter line like this. The steepness of this line depends on how much saving is happening from households. There will be another video that will look at that. From this diagram we find an equilibrium point. Basically, as much as all sectors of the economy are demanding, a business will match that, match that supply and we will end up with a national income level of NY1.